versus the total person. So let's say I'm the little guy right here, and then he's coming and grab my chest, and then he try to he pull me up. I'm making these type of steps. And of course, in, the, in this situation, he could punch me and all kind of crazy stuff going. So let's go break down. Starting with the uh, the chest grabbing defense position first. So here, <coughs> what's what you need you need to worry about this hand where you possibly is going to land on your face. So when you take action, you can take action quickly and swiftly. So let me go slowly first so you see what I do. One, two. So when I, when I grab this one right here, I do a little bit more turn instead of just grab. So make sure I can, ladies are able to expose directly on top so I can pull his elbow to pressure so therefore we could go down easily. This, yeah. And then you notice my leg under his arm, my other knee on top of the by the tricep. So you can actually see, you can really break his elbow if you press a little more further. At this point, because it's so much pressure already built up, you don't have to go further anymore. Just by a little bit, you can feel it. Okay. So now, I'm going to go with a little bit faster than last time I did. So, oh, yeah! Okay. Again. One more time. A little bit slowly again. So, one, two, three, and control. Put your knee on top. So at this point, you can literally free your hand because so much pressure already built up here. But you make sure you don't want to control. You don't want to lose this one by any mistake right here. Okay? Now, from this position, you can change the position if you, as you wish. That's something like this. If you want to do this one, so you can get up and control him. Right? Now, of course, get more and more over. Like that. Again. Okay. So you grab the chest. And all of a sudden, I saw he's going to punch. Yeah. So all you have to do is don't try to chase his punch just to cover yourself. Because uh, obviously, punch is going to fly in front of my face. All I have to do is cover. Here, yeah, that's it. And then when I cover, you know his hand is right here. All I have to do is grab and turn. So now, his both hands is already trapped by my hand. Here. Turn, twist, and pull him over. It's slightly different we can control. Next one, the third one. The grab. Okay. I try to pull. Then I realize he's got a high pain tolerance. So, won't move it much at all. You immediately change it to catch. Okay? Now in this case, if you go a little too fast, you can snap his knee easily. So here, so when you do practice, you have to be careful. Okay. I try to work on it. Let's work. Quickly change. Trap his knee. As I'm trapping his knee, I found. Okay, my next one um, is that from the bottom right here while I'm standing up here, pretty much the same size person bodies. So they could grab the shoulder or the chest, or maybe raise the position here, grabbing, and then neck, like this happening here. So you could basically do it the same way. So once you be able to, uh, Utilize the arm to turn it to the side of the way to make your offensive and go exposed to the top, then you can easily control the elbow. So let's say from here, he's grabbing my hip. So there's an easy thing is, look here. So when you, when you put your thumb, the index finger and thumb are right under, then you can press. You can, he, he can, uh, you can easily even express this elbow here. And then in the meantime, a little bit of turning. Like this. Now, two reasons you have to turn this way here. One, you, need, you can actually make his elbow move to the proper position so I can control. Number two, you can, you can get away from his possible punch. Yeah, like that, you can stop. 
That's why, okay? So I'm going to go too slow. So one, that's it right here now. Easy. So in this technique, if you do this type of move, you can easily snap somebody's elbow. So make sure be careful. So it was already straight. So if you go a little further with the speed, you can easily cause um, half extension, okay? So one, see, turn, five. And there you, you can change from there because you're already halfway down, okay? The same thing with the uh, chest, exciting like right here. Of course, there are many different ways to do it, but I'm just going to try to emphasize for the, uh, the same thing of what I do on the floor. So you can apply the same method while you're standing up. So here, just track this hand, make sure you don't, go, you don't get away from you. Once you grab, you have it right here. This way. Now I can control this one. Yeah. So that's what you should usually do. Okay. Uh, one more time. Okay. So trap this, trap this. Doesn't make any difference. The key point is this one right here. So one, two, <clears throat> slightly turn, then you stop, pull down to the ground. When you do that, use your knee a little bit. So this is where you can use your body power rather than just the arm power. Yes. So here, okay. 